Good evening everyone, this is Gregor, welcome to the stream, and I think I'm sounding like slightly too low, there we go, that's so much better, so yeah, hi, how are we doing today, how's it going, uh, hope everyone had a lovely weekend since, you know, I don't stream on Mondays and Tuesdays, <laughs> I especially would not have streamed this Monday and Tuesday because I'm kind of that tired, but yeah, I'm streaming today and we are going all in on Chrono Cross, I think, if, wait, what? Oh, there we go. If the uh, capture card wants to play along with the um, HDMI splitter and the PS3, and I've just realized that I've got way too many moving parts on this thing. So if, if, if any one of them kind of like stops working, I am screwed. <laughs> so it's just like basically one, two, three HDMI cables and two adapters in between plus the capture card and whoa. Ain't that fun. So sort of kind of like fiddling with the charger cables for this thing, which is actually... I've actually tried looking online to like getting like a new one, like an official DualShock 3, I guess. And they are super expensive. And I'm kind of like freaking out because... Freaking out, well, freaking out is not the right word for that. Um, I'm worried. <laughs> Uh, because mainly the the thing that happened with the GameCube controller while I was streaming, um, what's it called? Um, oh, there we go, like, like popping again. <sighs> yeah, I really, really need to see, let's see, analog, HDMI. Wait, no, it kind of like stopped. Okay, yeah, okay, the popping's gone. Nice. So yeah, um, that thing that happened with like a uh, Metroid Prime with the GameCube controller, it took me nearly 10 months to find a new one. Like, I think I showed it on stream last time I put like here. Yeah. And, like I did manage to get like an official one, thankfully. So in combination with that other adapter that I got that allows me to stream off of uh, RCA, signals i might just like manage to get the actual gamecube connected at some point to stream assuming all of my um memory cards haven't kind of like failed at this point because it, it it's been like oh it's actually been like 15 years or something since the last time i i, I tried like using my gamecube because uh for, for for a time i had the Return only wait what? Return the color crystals to the grandmaster. Only when you fulfill the requirements can you attend the ceremony. But yeah, for like a time I after like the Wii came out. Um we we could totally like play games on that. Like GameCube games. So as soon as we got like a Wii, the GameCube kind of like went into storage. Even though the backwards simulation wasn't like the best, like it might have just been my idea or it might be the connectors. Um, the Wii didn't really have like a very... Oh, wait, what? Oh, there we go. The Wii didn't have like a very good, like... Not emulator, but... I mean, wh whatever like the technology is that allows the uh, the Wii to play GameCube games, it, it kind of like made this weird thing where like everything seemed like slightly darker than they were supposed to be, and maybe that's because it was running through HDMI instead of RCA. But uh, it, it still wasn't uh, fun, especially for games that are like naturally dark. Because I did try like playing the Metroid Primes. That's that was like one. Uh, series where I had a lot of problems kind of like telling what's what. I tried playing Eternal Darkness on there, I tried playing like the two Resident Evil games, Zero and like the remake. Um, 
They were dark AF. I could not tell what was going on most of the time. Um, so yeah. Uh, in uh, in the meantime, we're also welcome to Fort Dragonia. This is not exactly the bit that you were seeing in the intro to the game yet. Um, that's actually the second part, I guess, of the dungeon. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember what this bit was all about. I, I think you had to find like five like elemental crystals or something and put them in like specific pedestals or whatever. And that's more or less uh, what the um, what the whole deal with this place is, I guess. It's, it's not very interesting, to be honest. It's got like some nice fun visuals. Like as far as I remember, most of it is kind of shown from like very very high camera angles. Um, So let's see, it's like a puzzle. We Dragonians are comprised of a head, body and tail. We must change the order of the head, body and tail to unveil a new path. Yep. Let it be the head, tail and then body. Uh, head, tail and then body. So it should be... Surge should be first. Um... Hip should be third, and kid should be second, right? So that means I think it goes like this. No, hold on. It's like second. Pip is third. No. I think we actually do need. Um, Surge to be first, but this just cycles through them, right? No, there we go. This should be uh, okay. So you you can kind of change the yeah yeah head tail and then body head tail body. So yeah, we basically need to swap um, kid with uh, Pip's positions in the party. But yeah, um, you can totally like press the select button and swap around with, like with characters in the lead. It, it kind of like cycles through them. And I mean, that's fine, I guess. Have to be like this. You know, I don't actually remember how you even solved this. <laughs> oh boy, isn't this gonna be fun? Hmm. So yeah, I don't get it. Do we... Do we need to do it without... Um... No. So it just like swaps the two first. So that this should be correct.
Nope. 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 Don't fight me. Don't fight me. <laughs> like, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no. <laughs> Stay back. <laughs> mm. Oh. King Retro Gaming. Thank you for the host. Oh, go back. I'm actually trying to remember how to solve this. Like, there's got to be some place where I have to stand after I do the swap, right? I can just, like, try other, like, rooms first. At least I remember this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Almost. So, wait a minute. What are these guys doing here? Which we haven't actually fought yet, but, you know. Like, this one's dragoons. Oh yeah, we also have access to Luminaire now. <laughs> if you if you ever played Chrono Trigger, you might remember this one. I think it looks like slightly different on this version though. Yep. Slightly different. Looks fun though, doesn't it? Unfortunately, it doesn't have the um, the honor of being the strongest tech in the game anymore, <laughs> as far as I remember. Because it's like two more tiers to go. It's like only tier five here. Cure plus. Oh. Oh, nope. Damn it. Sooth. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. This guy's like... Tier 5 does like a. It's like a big ass heal, actually. So I'm kind of trying to remember, do we get to keep Pip after the plot twist happens? Hmm. I don't actually remember. Huh. But yeah, this is kind of like the... Um, um, the halfway point of the game, I guess. Well, not actually the halfway point. It's like, oh, damn it. Slightly before that, but after you finish Fort Dragoni, I think that's when the game asks you to like put in the second disc in like the original uh, PlayStation version, I guess. Mm. 
Also, nice, delicious coffee. No milk. Because, you know, I couldn't bear Raiken being all judgmental on me. <laughs> hmm, gravity? No, we already have like gravity blow, right? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Uh, so we now clearly need to do this. And in order to do that, we need to close this. There we go. Sea charm. Oh, wait. Hmm. What was that? I do not remember this. Uh, protect? Wait. Protection against anti blue. Let me let me just like take a moment here to decipher this. It protects you against anti blue. So that means oh wait, hold on. No, I'm 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 being stupid. Um I think anti blue is the one that makes you weaker to blue elements, right? I think. Like hell, I, I, I actually think I may have one of those. <laughs> um, it's like turn white that like makes your um, element B that color turn like white, turn red, turn blue. Uh, there's like the anti ones or do I not have those yet? Yeah, I don't have those yet. Hmm. Oh well. There's like one more thing that I need to do now. And that is to rotate that thing. Nope, the other way. Go back. There we go. Oh, 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 no, never mind. That's not what we need to do. Why am I being stupid? This is the correct configuration for that one. But what? Oh, got an email. Okay, I guess. <laughs> sure. There we go. Also get like a handy shortcut there. Like first orb complete noob. Cause there's a boss. There's like a blob. No, there's a boss. It's a giant gloop. <laughs> it's like whoever thought of this name wasn't Huh. Also I just realized that kid takes like double Ooh, miss, nice. Um, just realized that kid takes double damage from blue. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> oh, wow. That looks gross and 
kind of uncomfortable actually, but mostly gross. Um, let's see, can we actually steal anything off of the giant pile of gloop? <laughs> it's like, try to like snatch something in like your, your hand, kind of like, oh, wait, she did? Antiviral cup. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess since like the um, since, since like the, the blue status ailment, it's called flu. I guess antiviral cup. Eh, yeah, okay, kind of like see it happening. I, I don't know why it would like this thing would carry one of those, <laughs> but that's like a totally different thing. No, wait, not not element. Uh, like this. I, I, I really want to cast Magnify here just to, you know, get this over. Like, um, like I want to combo Magnify and then Luminaire is probably very, very good here, but I'm, yeah. Oh, come on, you jerk. Don't make it blue. I was like working so long to make it green. Ah, uh, uh, white. Why did I say green? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Messed your color elements. Also, I, I, I think we may have kind of stacked Surge a bit too high with um, like all the attack increasing elements because everyone else is just doing like six or seven damage and surge like 30 40 50 per hit <laughs> at least with like his tier threes okay he's close to dying now let's see inferno or maybe mm, no you know what inferno Let's see, like, uh, how that works. I'm like a weak enemy. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, melting. <laughs> Hey, new growth level and like a bunch of uh, stats. Oh, hey, wait. Also, we got like a level three slot for kid and search, and a level one for Pip. That's kind of like the weird thing, isn't it? Like, you have no way of knowing um, what kind of growth each character has until you actually get to that level and kind of like look around all the time oh look i have like a level three one as well that i oh, level two one sorry that i forgot <laughs> whoops <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i guess like magma bomb might be decent to just like for that little bit of extra firepower oh never mind it's like magma burst Hey, I had like magma burst and didn't uh, uh, like do that. Whoops! Someone spamming shit in chat again. Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Pun hammer for you. <laughs> Can you say stop hammer time? <laughs> no, I guess you can't because I've banned you. But you know. <laughs> So hold on, we need uh, green, blue, and white, right? So how many interesting like blue ones that I could be using on my? Oh, I guess not. See, the problem is that like Aqua Ball is like a level three one. I don't have anything lower than that for blue. Like I could like turn blue, but uh. I mean, turn blue might be. Wait, what? 
Um, turn blue might be interesting if I'm kind of like trying to follow up with kid. But yeah, I can't use yellow ones. I can't use red ones. I can't use black ones on Pip because we're kind of like trying to get to his angelic form, I guess. Hey, Posh, welcome. How's it going? How are we doing today? Long time no see. How 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 is uh, how's your hump day going? I guess right. That's like what they call Wednesdays, I think. Okay, one out of six down. Let's go to the next one. Also, I think somewhere in Fort Dragonia is where we can actually hatch that egg we've been carrying around. It's like this thing. Um, and that will get us one more character. But I don't remember if it's in like this version of it or if it's in like the home version of it. It's quite busy. <laughs> I mean, that's also kind of good. At least you don't have time to get bored or anything. And it's always nice to... Oh. Um, it, it's always nice to have something to keep yourself busy with. Oh. Yes, last things on my end. I mean, could be better, could be worse. I'm still like very <clears throat> desperately looking for like a, a new place to move to. And I I even though there's like this whole like lockdown thing going on, the prices still haven't managed to like drop at like any significant amount. It's kind of stupid, if I'm being honest. Yeah, other than that, it's going. <laughs> Actually, it's, it, it feels a bit nicer now that the the temperature has dropped a little bit. Don't like fool yourself, like by me wearing like a short sleeve here. Um, it's actually. Uh, it's actually. Let me check. It's actually down to 15, and I guess it goes down to like 10 ish. Uh, by midnight um, which I kind of like telling it to someone that's like all the way up there north it doesn't mean much but uh, you know locally it does make some kind of difference makes the, the weather feel at least a little bit you know winter -y. <laughs> oh come on the hell tentative very failed of course it did. Mm. Winter is coming. <laughs> if you know what I mean. It just might be. <laughs> And yeah, kind of plodding along with the um, Chrono Cross, I guess. Like, really plodding along. Or is uh, Surge kind of really raking in the HP uh, with each fight? I 
I, I never actually remembered him being like this tanky, I guess. Also, yeah, we got heal all. That's a green level 4, I think, so... Finally, something for uh, Pip to have, aside from Ice Blast. So I guess we kind of like made Pip the de facto healer here <laughs> by uh, like loading him up with all like the cures and healers and like his level five also being um, uh, what's it called like soothe, which is basically a party wide heal. Okay, so now I need to make it to the outer path i guess and in order to do that i think we need to get to where the big dude is and in order to do that we probably have to go back through here and take another path oh boy yep and that other path being like where this dude is patrolling there's like all dudes all the place like every, every every enemy in this game is like a dude. I'm like, I, I'm just using the the word extremely extremely wrong. <laughs> Speaking of something that feels extremely wrong, I got like a an early well, an early Christmas present from like the missus. Um, like I don't, I, I don't remember if I showed this on stream like uh, on Saturday, but yeah, apparently um, I got my first ever advent calendar, and it's a tea advent calendar with yep twenty four different flavors, like sorry, twenty four different infusions of teas to try and marvel at the i guess uh i don't know at something or another of, of like tea <laughs> look I, I i drink a lot of tea generally whenever i don't drink coffee like my my other drink of choice for at least like the winter month is definitely always tea but i i wouldn't really know a good blend if it kind of like jumped out of the mug in, into my face and kind of like hit me <laughs> um, so yeah I, I have no idea I, I, I did say I'm, I'm, I was gonna try and like at least like do the do them on, on like time and try not to like open them in advance or um, kind of like look around and see what's in the actual thing so you know at least it keeps an element of surprise you know it probably make, make the misses very happy as well that I kind of like stuck with it <laughs> But I, I, I've never had an advent calendar. And to be honest, like the only people that I ever knew that were into them kind of like did the ones with like chocolates, which was like Cadbury's and stuff like that, I guess. Um, which personally, I'm not a big fan of chocolate aside from like how well built I am. It definitely isn't from too many sweets. <laughs> So, mm. Whoa, what were we talking about again? <laughs> oh, come on, make it in. Nope, never mind. Nope. There you go. <laughs> Juked. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't looking where I was going, and I ran into another one. Sue me. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's like, uh, how would I put this? Hmm, is this like what hubris tastes like? <laughs> Paper moon? Wait, what? Oh. Oh, okay. Excuse me? Did that thing just do like 130 damage in one hit? Yeah, not 130, I think it's like 114. I mean, still. Paper boy. I just realized what these enemies are called. Paper boy. <laughs> That's actually a decent game if you ever played it. It's on the NES and 
I think it was like in Game Boy Port as well at some point. Also got magic resist for whatever reason. Sure. Um, yeah, there was like a like an NES and later on a Game Boy Port of that on uh, the early 90s, I want to say. Oh, hey, we get like a trap for Tornado. Cool. I, I haven't actually used any of those traps, though. But it was actually a fun but very frustrating game in which you had kind of like an isometric camera and your goal was kind of to ride your bike through the neighborhoods and break as much shit as possible with just throwing newspapers. <laughs> it was very amusing for, I guess, like seven-year-old me. Aeroblaster, okay. Also, apparently, the, 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 the big robot thingies can now jump on, like, platforms. It's like Aeroblaster is green, right? Level 4. Okay, that's actually even better because it allows me to get rid of one more... Um, what's it called? Ice lands? Uh-oh. Yeah, okay, these actually actively chase us now. Fair enough. Also, something tells me that uh, this area's boss is gonna be yellow element. Hmm. Or like, sorry, green. Because like yellow is the like, um, like, I was kind of like thinking what what like the, uh, like the good opposite of that would be like the the super effective element, and I kind of like said yellow, and I meant kind of like green. So yeah, I guess since we we are getting like all of the green elements all the time, I might as well just like check and see if I can go a bit more yellow on at least kid, maybe. Uh, let's see, upheaval instead of graviton. Anyway, I'm not using graviton, so that's fine. Get another couple of like electro jolts instead of magma. Because I can't actually use any yellow elements on Pip because... Those are kind of like off limits if you want to go for the angelic um, evolution, I guess. And I don't think Serge has any spots left. Kind of like need something high level. Make it maybe another electro bolt instead of a photon beam. I mean, we'll see. I also have like luminaire, so that's fine. Brrr. Let me give you a hug. It's like, uh, let me hug you. <laughs> you like grab search and it's like, oh, a bunny. I'm going to pet it and call it George. It's like anyone ever seen those cartoons. No. Body press. See? Yeah, he totally does. No, it's like, never mind. It's not like a hug. It's more like a belly flop. Jeez. Okay, that, that was actually painful to watch. <laughs> and Pip's kind of like painfully close to dying. So, mm. hope I make it. I also hope I manage to steal something off of this guy. Come on. Give me a tornado trap. Oh, no, no, <laughs> damn it. I was just about to heal. Come on. Why do you have to be so mean to like the little sheep dude in my party? Yeah, I do have like a revive, but I'm not actually sure if I have a heal on kid. So I might just be just wasting a turn reviving Pip only for him to... Oh, never mind. I do have a heal. Uh, but it does make the... Yeah. It's gonna make the field slightly green, so... <laughs> I'm like gonna boost this guy. Um, yeah, green is out of the question here. 
Pounce is probably not going to do much in the way of damage. I mean, eh. Blue is better than nothing. Like the big guy really hates Pip. Choke slam. Oh, never mind. It's got like some very cool moves though. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a, an amped up like pro wrestler kind of like move set, I guess. Okay, let's see. Yes, Taurusoid. Also like the name. It's like a very, very nineties kind of name. Taurusoid. Really? Really? Just like how many of those do you have equipped anyway? Don't miss Surge. <laughs> it's like you were the chosen one. <laughs> I gave you all the good accessories. <laughs> oh, okay. There, there we go. Or not. Like, if this game is actually consistent by its own, like, logic of not having, like, an infinite amount of uh, spells to cast, I guess. Like, never mind, not spells. Uh, what's it called? Um, elements, sorry. Then, I have no idea just how many uh, heal alls this guy has equipped. Oh, I mean, look at that! <laughs> it's like <laughs> I never used Pib in my in my last two attempts at this game. I have no idea what his uh... oh. Um, I have no idea what his uh, text look like. Wait, what? So am I am I not gonna get any turns at all here? What? Stop cheating. Stop healing. Just die already. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Surgeon Friends. Wait, did I get like a level 1? Oh, and now Pip gets like a level 4 slot. So in case you, you haven't noticed, like you also get like a small representation of everyone's grid on the top right of their character card, I guess. And like the, the little flashing spot on it means that you've just unlocked a new slot on that specific uh, like level. So I got a level one slot for surgeon kid and a level four for pip i mean eh, works for me <laughs> shutting down <laughs> oh that, that, that reminded me damn it i need to see where my mech warrior um discs are at like mech warrior 2 actually not like any of the newer ones that you know, you can actually tell what's going on just by looking at it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, as a kid, I played a, a lot, and I, I mean a lot of um, a small game called Mech Warrior 2, uh, which I believe was subtitled 31st Century Combat. 
as far as I remember. It was made by Activision at the time. It was like very early 90s kind of title. We're talking like uh, very, very, very early 3D graphics. The type that usually was just polygons without textures at all. <laughs> it was like such a such a weird awesome game it, it it really i guess embraced the whole i don't know simulation aspect of piloting a mech around it had like very distinct visuals and uh oh wait wait what Oh, I see. So I guess this is the exit, actually. This is where we end up, where we, when we screw up in the puzzle at like the top of the room, most likely. Cause see, yeah, like Square always had like one of these in every single game they had. It was always this one room where if you screwed up the puzzle in any way, it was like a trap or something. The Watchkeeper faces north as we defend the fort. Yep. And if you screwed up, you kind of... Your body seems to be brimming with energy. Wait, what? What the hell is this? This is like definitely not a save point. Hey, Tuma! Welcome, how's it going? How are we doing today? Oh, you remember this? Nice. Um, but yeah, it was like this always in Square Games, one of these rooms. You, you had like a puzzle somewhere up high and then if you failed it, you dropped down into like a room full of enemies or traps or stuff like that and you had to walk all the way back to the top to make another attempt at the puzzle and blah 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 so i i i want to say that the correct answer is south at this point but i kind of want to check all of the um bits here so i think like choosing west will get us to some chests now and then south would be the correct uh solution because you know the watchkeeper faces north therefore we should go behind him like the way the way he like the if he faces north then the the fort is to the south you're all right that's good to hear Oh, oh, damn it! Yeah, I, yeah, I was, I was stupid of me. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I did a dum dum there. So it's always relative to where the statue is facing. Um. So in this case, I should have picked south if I wanted to get to the mm, chests. Cause like the it's like the the, the bottom um, pit that gets you there. Yep, I should be paying more attention, but it's been a tough week. You, you could like excuse me if I uh, mess things up a little bit. The bananas now, not coffee cups. Oh, you could tell it was a coffee cup. Yeah, like some people said that it looked more like toilet paper, so I kind of like thought I'd change that into bananas, <laughs> and. And, and make like a not very clever joke about like uh, viewer interaction points or VIPs <laughs> with like a very obvious banana as a, <laughs> as a thing there. <laughs> so we did get like a... What did we just get? I 
kind of like missed that because I was too busy trying to sound clever. I mean, um, mm, what? <laughs> I think we may have got an accessory though. Yeah, flame charm. There we go. Protects against anti red. Okay. It's gonna be kind of lurking around. I mean, yeah, fair enough. Thank you for uh, dropping by. It's always appreciated. And never required. Guess you want to make me cry. <laughs> yeah, not really. Uh, probably gonna have to have one of those signs being like, it's been three days since I last made that joke. <laughs> Just like scrub it, like angrily and say, God damn it, down to zero again. <laughs> So, okay, it's looking to south, so that would mean that's the new north is southwest. Now we need to go west. There you go. Doop. Okay, this is the correct one. Wonder what we get to fight here. No? Nothing? Huh. I guess the puzzle was boss enough. I guess. Hmm. Can anyone tell that I don't really remember this part of the game at all? <laughs> ah. Maybe it's because I always kind of like made it just to the part after this and then got extremely lost because there's gonna be a plot twist at the end of this dungeon I guess or location better and once that happens you basically get asked to go find the six divine dragons or something like that um, and while theoretically I always knew where to go look for them I always seem to miss like one or two I think because basically most of them are kind of spread around the I don't know what is like the location called it's like the, the, the archipelago of the game um, and okay you get like the the water dragon on like water god island or whatever it's called and earth god island and blah 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 you get the earth dragon and like the fire dragon you fight in mount pyre we actually fought him is that it's that like little guy with the spear that we fought just at the end of uh, uh it's at the end of mount pyre just before we ended the stream last time but I think I was always missing the black dragon, I guess. Or something like that. I'm really not uh, remembering this uh, at all. Wonder if We Dragonians are comprised of a head, body and tail. Thou must change the order of the head, body and tail to unveil a new path. Let it be the body. Oh, so wait, we, we actually do just change their order manually. Yeah, and this should have like made things go around a little bit, I guess. Uh, not enough, but you know. Head, tail, and body. Okay. 
Okay, so we did move one of them, ar two of them around, so... Oh boy. <laughs> Does this work? So I should say that head, body, and tail. Okay, that's like the the order here. It's like Serge is the head, Kid is the body, and Pip is the tail, I guess. Um, okay, so this at least allowed us to do this. Um. See what like tail head body does. It's like one, two. So it should be like nine combinations, right? Hmm. Nine. Should be like each one in the lead. Like no six. Yeah, because you can actually use like the same person twice, so that should be like six combinations. Um, one, uh, one with like each of the body parts in the lead, and there's like two different va variations of that. So okay, this allows me to get to the um, to the northern chest, I guess. That's good. Electrobolt. Mm. Uh, head, body, tail is what allowed us to get uh, the um, what's it called? The um, shortcut switch activated. So, how about we try body, tail, head? See, the annoying thing is that every time you need to sit through that, like, text box, which is like three or four prompts in a row. What did this do? Oh, hello. Okay, this gave me access to the other chest, so that's fine. Earth charm, I guess protects you against anti-yellow, I want to say. Let me check. Yep, anti-yellow. So, uh... It's kind of time to test it the other way around. See, so this is like tail, body, and head. Right now. Tail, uh, body, head, and tail. Right? Let's see. Cling. Body, head, and tail. Okay. What does this do? So there should be one combination now that allows me to get all the way to the right side of the room and then use that to kind of make it through to the... Uh, crystal in the middle because I kind of assume that's why you need to drop the, the, the like the little like staircase to begin with okay it seems like this combination in specific won't allow me to do anything so head tail, head, tail, tail head tail body Mm-hmm. 
and yeah, I can, I, I can say from the start that this isn't gonna work. None of the movable platforms are where are like placed in any way that allows me to gain access to stuff. I think I actually need to get to this platform here to do something with that thing. Um, so things like tail body head. As like the reversed order. Haven't done this one yet. So let's see. Tail, body, and head. Hmm. Gling, gling. <laughs> okay, something's moved correctly. So that's... Like the middle, uh, the middle rings, kind of like moving platform, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, did it move to where I needed to move? Yes, it did. Okay, so uh, kind of like hoping this will solve it. <laughs> If I'm being honest, because it's kind of tedious to go back and forth through like two loading screens. <gasps> Whoa. Da -da -da -da. You've unlocked the the thing you played in the intro. <laughs> that sounds like a... Um, sounds like a slight bit anticlimactic, doesn't it? Just like a tiny bit. Just a little. Oh, okay, this... This looks a bit more exciting. Getting stuff to rise from the ground. Uh oh it's like a huge like flying rat trying to attack you or something mm -hmm. I think we better save <laughs> yeah I think we should save like <laughs> this is something that's probably true of every single PlayStation and before the PlayStation era game where saving was available it's like ABS always be saving it's like the, the mantra here oh guess it's like the white uh, element boss. Oh, feels like it. What with the the big white crystal in the background? Yep, son of a wait, what? Son of a gun! <laughs> oh wow! What a <laughs> what a weird name! <laughs> son of a gun. What's like the point of that? Why would you name your like s smiling, rotating sun disc kind of thing, son of a gun? <sighs> and on an unrelated note, could I please start hitting a bit? Kissy with wait, what? What? Um, <laughs> that was a very weird kind of take there. <laughs> what? Uh, was that cover that I got? I guess. 
Come on, just hit the thing. It's not like you're doing much damage anyway. Also, is it me or... Oh, wow. Am I like fighting Sephiroth or something? <laughs> like whatever this... Wait, no! Stop! <laughs> stop freaking casting things! Also, I kind of need to change the... Uh, I kind of need to change the, the field effect as fast as possible. Whoa. One whole damage. Gee, I, I hope he isn't like crippled with like the, the, the pain of uh, paralyzed with like the pain of the whole one damage done to it. Wow. Kind of unhappy. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. <gasps> oh! Nice! I, 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 I guess Peep evolved? <laughs> or maybe not yet? I don't know. Is that like the, the full effect, I guess? Oh, jeez. Um... Can someone tell this thing to chill a little bit? I hope I have enough time to heal everyone though. Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I just made like the, the field effect white. I did not notice that. <laughs> I mean, I would probably need to heal anyway, I guess. It's. What the hell were they on when they made this boss? Seriously. Like, it, it, it must have been some very good stuff. <laughs> like, at least whoever animated it. <laughs> also, I think uh, he kind of, like, evolved. Yeah, he's kind of got, like, little angel wings now. And he's pink-ish. I guess. Also, yeah, this is something if you, um, if you've never played this, you've got like a, a lot of little like fun statistics about each character. So Pip is a guinea pig experiment, age unknown, origin viper manor lab, hide unknown, weight unknown, build unknown, dominant Poe unknown. <laughs> Ser Serge is like the silent protagonist class. <laughs> He's 17 years old from Arni Village. He's five uh, foot seven, I guess. 128 pounds. I wish this were in the metric system, to be honest. Ordinary build, and he's right-handed. Kid is ambidextrous, by the way. Slender build, and she's also a mysterious traveler. Ah. So yeah, I guess Pip is now like a healer. I don't know, is that like all? I, I thought it would take like more time for him to, you know, evolve into uh, whatever his final form is going to be.
Yep. And... Wait, did I go up? Oh. And this is uh, kind of where the intro kind of picks up. We don't actually get the cool music though. The, the action theme. Kind of wonder why. Hmm. Maybe there's something that we haven't done in uh, the uh, first floor. Also, I think you can also go down on this. Yeah. It's some kind of device. There's a broken eggshell inside. Some kind of device. There's a broken eggshell inside. Some kind of device. It's not functioning. Yes, the broken eggshell inside. Oh, okay, I see. Um, yeah, so I, I was right. You, you do get Draghi here, which is like the, the dragon that's in the egg that we got from Fossil Valley. But you actually need to go to the fourth Dragonia of Homeworld instead of another, uh, where we are at the moment. It's okay, fair enough. That's a, 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 a good FYI for later on in the game. Like, very much later on in the game. I don't think you actually get to come to Fort Dragonia until... Uh, well, maybe a few hours from now. It's gonna take a while, is uh, all, I, all I'm saying. Okay, there is... I, I also don't... Mm, I also didn't remember that it was like, had like different enemies here from the intro version of it. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Seriously though, look at all the damage I'm doing with Surge. It, it's kind of broken. <laughs> at least on regular enemies. I, imagine, imagine if... Uh, I wasn't doing this much damage to the bosses. Like, I would probably be stuck by now. Ba -da -ba -ba. Also, also, I kind of realized that if we want to have the best chance of uh, um, stealing from enemies, I should probably have Kid in the lead, right? Because then she gets to... Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Don't, don't aggro me. Ah. Yeah, but if I have Kid in the lead, she gets to charge up her attacks first, so... She, she kind of has like a first pig on who to you know, try and pilfer. If she can manage to do that without failing again. <laughs> I'm not salty, you're salty. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, see? Ah! <laughs> Come on. Get better at hitting things. Come on. Actually, I'm, I'm not even sure how the game calculates if you've successfully pilfered someone. I, I kind of want to say that there might be a uh, an accessory that you get later on that increases your uh, pilfer chances. But I'm not very... Um, uh, I'm not very sure of that. I Oh, wait. Did we just get like a level 6 as well? Ay, okay. I mean, this kind of opens up all different kinds of possibilities. I didn't notice we got a level 6. Interesting. I mean, imagine like putting a, a photon beam there. 
or I don't know, have like a put magnify in its correct uh, uh, element slot. That would also be nice, right? Hey, Menino Mundi, welcome. How's it going? How are we doing today? Um, okay. <laughs> How about you? Wait, no, 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 no reds. No reds. We need blues and uh, uh, aqua ball. Sure, aqua ball, why not? Blues and greens, that's what we need, yes. Uh, and white, I guess. I don't have any white elements that are like level 1, though. I mean, photon beam is level 3. But I kind of need that for recover all. Or maybe I could just like go recover all at kind of like a higher tier, I guess. And I have nothing to put in tier 1, though. Um... Oh, never mind, it's like t tier 2. Oh yeah, it's tier 2. I could totally put a heal in there. Huh. Okay. Doing good, you guess? Oh. I I, I hope you you don't need to guess, <laughs> if possible, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, welcome to the stream. We're doing more of this again. We are at the favorite bit of everyone who's ever played a game ever. Mazes. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, he saw me. Couldn't sneak by. Mazes, mazes, mazes. Yeah, I never enjoyed mazes in any game that I've ever played. Um, I I think it was actually put the best way. Uh by what was it a documentary that i saw once i was like yeah documentary sure why not ha <laughs> ha sure gregor documentaries <laughs> it was actually a fun documentary I, I i even have it on dvd um it's called get lamp get a silver pendant oh nice so this is a documentary shot by the guy that has well that kind of like works on archive.org um, he's called Jason Scott. He's done a lot of retro-inspired stuff. He's supposed to be this kind of internet historian, I guess. And it is a documentary on text adventures, which is actually one of the categories of games that I played when I was starting out, I guess. I was like, when I was like six or seven or so, I... My, my dad had like a... Oh, damn it. Um... My dad had like a 486 uh, computer that, well, it was supposed to be there for work, but, you know, everyone always, you know, played games on it, uh, because, you know, it's, a, it's like, you can play games on this? What? And... He had like a co-worker that was very much into importing stuff because we we never really got games back in the 486 era sold at stores here like the only ones we ever had access to we kind of had to import and the internet wasn't a thing then so you couldn't actually you know download them pronounce me you know, like in brazilian oh thank you <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm happy to not butcher the pronunciation of your username <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, because we didn't have access to games outside of, say, magazines, if those could be found, like very few of them, uh, where you could get a uh, floppy disk that had like three or four demos on them or something. So yeah, he had a co-worker that traveled ab abroad a, a whole bunch and he usually brought stuff over that he found in stores there. So, one of the very, very first games that I've ever played, or like tried to play, didn't actually, you know, play, played, because I didn't know English at the time. But yeah, one of the first games that I kind of like tried getting into was, uh, what was it? Um, uh, what was it? It wasn't Zork. It was... Angel Charm. Oh, this this is like anti-white, right? Protection from anti-white. Yep. 
Yes, we can keep that. Um, I think it might have been suspended. No, it wasn't suspended. Uh, what was it? God, meteor shower. Oh, okay, this goes on search. Uh, there was like a... Mm, You know, I think it might have been a Mind Forever Voyaging. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Also, Screw Magnify, I'm not using it at all anyway. Um, it might have been a Mind Forever Voyaging. I never really went far into that. But I did try my best to, you know, play. Okay, the Demon Charm is probably for Anti-Black as well. Uh, and then we kind of like went into more graphically intense games as like they actually did have graphics in them <laughs> um, like uh, what was like we had like a version of excite bike at some point I remember and, and then we actually did end up getting a Pentium because I was in uh, in middle school at the time and I was all oh my god I need to have one of those for to do my homework and stuff which I actually like but you know uh. <laughs> um, but yeah oh wait is this one red bunny -ip. yes it is red okay that's uh, a bit awkward did I remember to put a lot of blue ones on pip yay Free fall, nice. Um, so yeah, we went like on like a Pentium, or I like, guess like a after the 486. I I may have like gotten like a few freeware discs that had stuff like Wolfenstein. Oh yeah, Wolfenstein. Yeah, that, that's the one. Again, I I, I did have like a, a lot of like floppy discs that kind of had demos in them. Like Wolfenstein was one. There was like the first couple of Duke Nukem games at some point, which were like kind of like side-scrolling platformers. I remember playing a bunch of a game called Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. If anyone ever played that, it was a platform game. I think made by what ended up being Epic. Um. Oh shoot. God. Uh oh. Uh oh. Danger. Danger. Stranger. Danger. Uh uh. Need more levels. And also need to soothe. Um, so yeah, Hocus Pocus was kind of like a platformer in which you played a wizard. Uh, kind of like... Was kind of like running around with his finger pointing out like this. And shot like lightning bolts out of it. <laughs> it was like a very goofy game. Quite fun though. Uh, a bit annoying because of all the secrets uh you kind of had to have a... Oh. Whoa. What the? Huh? Oh, okay. This is different. It's like very different, actually. Now, and now it's a black element. Well. I guess search now... Uh gets to show off kind of annoying that I already used my meteor shower on, on uh, like the, the first form but on, on the other side I don't really need it because Serge is doing so much damage to it oh you know what I want to see what Luminaire does on this <laughs> oh boy if it breaks through 200 damage oh yes I'm gonna be so happy <laughs> it's like so much damage. I mean, I guess also Pip should be doing slightly more because he's supposed to be effective on it. And he did. So, eh, it's a big boy. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Does Pounce do anything in this uh, case? Eh. It's not like the, the best uh, attack there, but, you know, I'll take it. It's more than Kid is doing with her uh, abilities. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, huh. Photon beam. Pew, pew, pew. Oh. I'm just like doing so much damage to this thing. I love it. <laughs> It dead. But yeah. <coughs> like when I first kind of like got interested into computers, um, text adventures were probably the first thing that I tried to get into. I never actually managed to because, again, I didn't know any English at the time. I was like six. What did you expect? Um, but eventually I did come back to them and finished a bunch of them. I finished like the first two Zork games. I finished uh, Planetfall, Suspended, um, what else? Like Mind Forever Voyaging. There's like a bunch of like newer interactive, this is all called like interactive fiction, right? And there's like a bunch of newer stuff that's also very interesting. I would totally recommend 903, I think. <clears throat> Give me a moment. Nine oh five, okay. Uh let's see. <clears throat> yeah. So I'm gonna link this in chat. If you ever wanted to try out text adventures and kind of like see uh what the medium is well capable of, I guess. This would be a very good starting point because it's very very short it only takes about oh 10 or 15 minutes to complete <coughs> max and uh, hmm. um, it, it doesn't <coughs> oh wow oh I'm not getting uh, the flu because that would be awful. Um, it, it it takes like 10 or 15 minutes to complete. You need to play through it twice, usually to kind of know like the whole story. It's got like a cool little plot twist. It doesn't require too much in the way of advanced uh, syntax to solve. Actually, I think like the most complicated verb you, you use is kind of like um, open. Because you, as far as I remember, you only ever use like open, look, push, and drive. I think so. Yeah, that's that's kind of like uh, about it. And it's a very nice um, intro to what uh, text adventures can do because it, it's kind of like a compact, short, clever adventure that you can finish in like a lunch break or less. <gasps> what the hell? What is this? Is this the plot twist I was told about? <laughs> it's like you open the door and you go, Hello, are you the plot twist? <laughs> um, but yeah. Come on, let's go in. Come on, mate! Okay. But, uh, yeah, I, I would also totally recommend checking out get lamp which is the text adventure documentary i guess um i i believe it was made freely available on youtube as part of like a google talks uh initiative uh it's quite an interesting uh like hour and a half watch because it, 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 it kind of goes back into all the major players in the industry at that time, which was like the the beginning of text adventures. It kind of explains how text adventures actually became a game, like, kind of like evolved from uh, cavers, I guess, like people that actually map caves for a, for a hobby or for a living. And that whole mindset of mapping out stuff kind of evolved into what text adventures eventually became uh it's quite interesting and it's like the um, 
Uh, I'm nothing personal against you, but anyone who hinders our plan must be eliminated. I'm rather sorry about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Am I gonna fight him? Yes, I'm gonna fight him. Uh, but I'm, I'm trying to remember here how this conversation started. There was like a saying that I. Oh yeah, mazes. Okay, for start warming up first. A. Eh? Then come now, lads. I will take you on. What's his element? Yellow. Okay. Um. So yeah, like that in, in that documentary, there's like this whole thing about a um about like maze design. And it, it it's something that totally stuck with me uh, when I saw it. It it described mazes as more like something that the developer puts in the game in order to inflate the game time. And this was actually um, this was actually initially mentioned by GeForce. Ooh, oh my. Uh, this is mentioned by, uh, what's his name? I forget what his name is. It's like one of the major, um, people that are currently involved in, uh, the indie, I guess, scene. It's not actually indie scene, but it's kind of like a more amateur, um, type of, uh, production because, you know, they, they don't actually sell their games commercially. There isn't like a market for adventure game for like text adventure games in the way that it, it was kind of viable maybe like 20 years ago um but yeah he does say that uh mazes in games kind of started out as this cool thing where you kind of had to decipher the uh the layout because you you didn't really have a uh, like a visual of the map, so you kind of have to do it like all in your head. Was that field effect? So, um, this takes a bit of explaining. In this game, every character and every element, which is the spells that we're using, like these things here, um, comes in one of six colors. Uh, it's, uh, I, I guess it's supposed to be representations of uh, elements. In, in like fire, water, blah, blah, blah. So I would be like, there's green, yellow, black, white, and uh, red, blue. And these are also like the, the two, the, the three pairs. So they all kind of have uh, like an opposing color. So blue's opposing color is red, black's opposing color is white, green's opposing color is yellow, and when you attack enemies that have the opposing color to your own, you do more damage, but you also take more damage from them in return. So, for example, General Viper here, let's see, see, he's, he's, it, says, it says innate, that's like his color. He's like innately a yellow element. So if I have characters that can do green, they do more damage to him and elements or spells that do the green uh, colored element such as uh, let's see if I have any like bush basher that does more damage on him uh, on top of that the field effect which is like sorry the thing over there um, every time you use a spell of a uh, like an element of a specific color the smaller circle is pushed outwards and you insert the color at, at its place so now it's like off it doesn't really you can really see it here, like they're all green. Um, if I were to use Photon Beam, which is white, it would push out the, the greens. So it would be like the two outer ones would be green and the first, like the inner one would be white. So in essence, if you use three, if you manage to use three elements of the same color, the same and like in a row, it colors the entire field to that effect. So now it's like currently full green. Because I, I managed to use like three green elements in a row. Uh, and what that does is firstly it boosts that specific color on the field. So any if I had a character that was green, uh, innate green, which I don't at the moment. Because uh, Serge and Pib are white and um, Kid is red. Um, 
But first of all, it boosts characters that are the same innate color. So green characters get a boost. It, uh, I guess it weakens uh, characters that are, that are the opposing innate color. In this case, General Viper is yellow, so he gets slightly weakened. And it also boosts the damage that you do with those colors of uh, abilities. So Bush Basher does more damage now because I'm, I'm casting it on a full green field. Uh, it's a little confusing, yes, I know. Uh, the the other thing is that there's also like the, the the little like stars there. If you see them, the field, like the, the the number of stars under the field effect, those are there to show you that you can also summon. So if I had the green summon, which I don't, unfortunately yet, you get it like later on in the story, I could totally have summoned the big ass green dragon thingy here because I managed to make the entire field the same color. Is the gameplay better? Yeah, actually, this is like one of the things that almost everyone agrees made this game a lot more interesting so yeah you see if he now he's using like yellow um it, it changed the field effect it pushed out one of the greens and put like the the yellow in the small in, in like the the entrance the, the entry point to the field effect so now if i use another two ones it's gonna go all yellow it's like full yellow effect so he's gonna get boosted blah 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 if I use something else, I'm kind of like gonna break the sequence. Um, so yeah, if I use red here, so yeah, all 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 spells and abilities, like whatever gets like a tooltip up there with a colored frame that affects it. Ha ha ha! Wait, what? How's it? So yeah, the idea is that you you're kind of trying to stack the same color as much as possible and you're also trying to stop the enemies from um, affecting like the sequence that you're trying to do okay we also got like a level i guess nice oh wait search got like a level two peep got a level three nice so yeah we're gonna use consumables because there's another fight coming up uh-oh Ha ha ha, you are a worthy opponent, but let us see how you do now. I shall give it my all. Nope, you're not. <gasps> Lynx, you traitor. You were extremely, you were extremely useful in helping me to make my way around these islands. I appreciate your help, General. However, I no longer have any need for you. This fort shall serve as a fine grave marker for you and your dragoons. May you rest in peace. Damn, forgive me. Riddell. A real backstab. Now, let this be your final resting place as well. Come on, Lynx, you're going down. Well. <laughs> A real backstab. Yeah. That sounds about right. But yeah, it's like more or less... Uh, everyone kind of agrees that... Uh, no matter like all its faults oh Ooh, yes that's painful because pb is also the white element ah <laughs> well we're screwed well actually no we're not screwed but it's gonna get a lot trickier because both surge and pb are white element and while they will do a lot more damage to links they also kind of take a lot more damage as well but at least this will allow me to use my heals without uh, being worried that I um, kind of like, you know, uh, mess up the, the field effect there. But yeah, like, as far as I remember, a lot of people actually considered the combat system to be the best point about this game, aside from like the soundtrack. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a break in that though, aren't I? Because I really want to check and see... Oh, oh, no, stop. I really want to try and like uh, pilfer this guy. So yeah, I'm kind of like inserting red there without needing to. Hey, did we get something cool? Pendragon Sigil B. I have no idea what that is, but I... I'm, I'm I'm really interested to find that. Wait, what? Why is he using white? 
Hein Euh... What It's like I don't remember him ever doing this. Actually, I think I'm just gonna like recover all and wait for Surge to do Luminaire with a full white. Hopefully, uh, like Lynx isn't going to. Um, like mess it up, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, level four. No, 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 don't cast. Oh, he's dead. Huh. I didn't actually get any time to Luminaire. Although, yeah, he's not actually dead. Um, and I got another Pentagon Sigil. <laughs> Why the level keeps changing? I mean, um, so it's like another weird thing about this game is the leveling system. You don't actually get XP every time you fight. The, the way it works is you get stars every time you fight a boss. Um, kind of hard to explain this, so uh, just like bear with me here. So the way this works is every time you beat a boss, you get a star. Uh, if you've noticed, this was like our 20th, I think. And that's kind of like why you also want to go fight like secret bosses and stuff like that or like optional bosses because you get more stars and what each star does it increases the maximum level cap of like the maximum sorry stat cap of all of the characters uh not not, not just the three in your party but everyone that you've recruited now in order though to actually get those stats you need to fight fights like enemies uh every time you win a fight if your character hasn't like reached the maximum that they can get with the amount of stars that you have they will get a few stat increases like extra hp and extra strength and stuff like that now in here because we fought two bosses back to back we got two two stars and those two stars means that we got like two increases to the level cap i guess to the stat cap so that's why we keep getting more stats over and over because we got two cab increases in, in a row. You're more trouble than I thought, but do you really think your skills are superior to mine? Eh, sorry, loser. <laughs> Uh-oh. Serge, have you ever questioned who you really are? Wait, what? Serge? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> What has been the significance of your existence up until now? On that ominous day ten years ago, the boundary of space and time was torn, and part of me, in fact, died. So yeah, he's... Uh... <laughs> this is the start of the game trying to make sense. It's going to take another 10 or 20 hours for it to get there, but eh. So on the original timeline, the one where Serge died, because yes, spoiler warning, we were supposed to die. Um, Serge gets attacked by a panther demon. And some stuff is going to happen that we're going to find out later. And this guy kind of split out from that. You cannot defeat me, Serge. This is because denying me is the same as erasing your very existence. Don't be taken in by his rubbish, Serge. This guy's full of it. <laughs> we'll see about that. There are two sides to every coin. Life and death. Love and hate. Peanut butter and jelly. I mean... <laughs> Whoops. They are all the same. <laughs> what do you say? Talk some sense, will ya? <laughs> Cutscene. Uh-oh. 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 Go. Hint, 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 something's wrong. Can anyone guess what the plot twist is gonna be?
Tum, tum, tum. Yep. Plot twist. Serge, what's wrong? Links, what you've done to Serge? Serge, you're right? Uh oh. Yes, um, sorry. Yes, I'm fine. I'm just fine, kid. Yep. <laughs> Check this out. Who are we controlling now? Mm? <laughs> what are you doing, Lynx? Now's your chance, kid. Kill him. Yeah, I know. I mean, you do know that he's kind of like a silent protagonist. Shouldn't that be tipping him, like, uh, shouldn't that be tipping kid off? This is the end of you, Lynx. Say your prayers. Um, no? Don't like those eyes? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we kind of switched bodies with Lynx. This is the first major plot twist. Uh-oh. And we also get to fight our previous party. So much fun. Punch, punch, punch. And suddenly Kid is actually doing damage. I don't know why. <laughs> Need to play as the villain now. Well, yeah, it, it's a bit more complicated than that, but more or less, yes. And of course, we get kind of like ruffle stomped here. Oh no, we lost. Whatever will we do? The end. But um, it will get explained. Like Lynx is not actually the villain, so to speak. In a way. You did it, kid. Uh, yeah? Now finish him. What's wrong? Settle it once and for all. Uh... Here, hand me your dagger. I'll finish him off. I mean... Watch this, kid. I'll avenge Luca for you. Die, Lynx! <gasps> How does he know the name? Wait! What, kid? He's your foe, isn't he? Um, how do you know Luca's name? <laughs> so, by the way, Luca is yes that Luca from Chrono Trigger not once did I ever mention Luca's name to you Serge <gasps> no don't tell me your <sighs> another cutscene plot twists <sighs> what fuck you legs you body stealing bastard <laughs> <laughs> this was uh, a lot more impactful the first time I kind of like saw it, but now it kind of looks a bit silly. No. And weirdly, Lynx can't speak now that Serge is in his uh, body. Sergi Kins, why? <laughs> Quiet. You did. This is the end of the road for you, kid. I just love his, uh, like, new profile, uh, like, image. Uh, your Lynx, ain't ya? <laughs> I'll send you to see Luca. Or not. I'll finish you off later for no good reason at all. Why? Why does he do that? Look at yourself, Serge. 
I mean, links? <laughs> Excellent! The enmity is growing! The only thing pure in this world is enmity. Well then, the time has come for the curtain to fall. Your services are no longer needed. Even your very existence is worthless. So Luca from Chrono Trigger is dead. Well, yeah, at this point, I think, like, all of them are kind of dead now. Since, you know, um, like a lot of time has passed, I guess. Come to the Sea of Eden, Surge. Should you wish to end your dreams of ten years ago. Yum. Now, let love bleed, darker and deeper than the seas of hell. <laughs> I can't even do that. <laughs> so yeah, he basically shatters the frozen flame and that kind of triggers a chain reaction and i think what ends up happening is that like this pushes us back to like the home dimension i guess And now we're in like this effed up painting place. Yep, yep, yep. Don't you just love games when they are being artsy? <laughs> I guess. Artsy? I don't know. Is that like even like a real thing? <laughs> but look, the chests aren't. Like, the, the, the chests don't have, like, corrupted uh, graphics, so yay! Looks like a kid's drawing. Yeah, I mean, fair enough, that's... I, I guess this is what they were going for. Uh, but it's, like, such a weird thing, right? Wait, no! Wait, get back here! No. Oh. oh, I see. No, no, I, I, I gotcha. No worries. So I guess we kind of need to, uh, yeah, lure her out and then go in. Oh, lure him out. Hey, you! What are you doing in me house? <laughs> Yo, wow, that's like a... <laughs> what? Hmm, I figured you for another wandering spirit. How many years has it been because before, since a physical being wandered into this world? Very strange indeed. Rightly so. The world is controlled by chance and chaos. Anything can happen as qu anything can happen as quick as a wink. Nobody knows. <laughs> Something you have today may be gone tomorrow. Oh my god, it's like so hard to do. Just like this berry I'm holding. <laughs> oh my god. How do you even do this accent? It's like supposed to be like I don't know. Manchester Cockney? No, it shouldn't be Cockney because that's like kind of like you also need to kind of like rhyme, I guess. Important stuff, irreplaceable stuff. All these may come to arm, may come to arm with superlative ease. I think I need to speak like faster to get the effect. And what's frightening is there be absolutely no meaning to what happens in these daily lives. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Meaning is non-existent. No matter what's born, lost, or changed, it's beyond calculation. There be no one or nothing watching over you. Such is life. The freak? I forgot about this guy even existing. I'm going to bed. I should just hear a stop too. Wow. the ability of speaking and 
I wish I had that. I got like considerable trouble doing most things uh, uh, like related to speaking. Uh, it's kind of like weird. Okay, I kind of need to go AFK for just a small while, just like five minutes. I will be back uh, soon to see how this uh, drawing uh, pans out. <laughs> so yeah, be right back. And we're back. I'm really sorry about that. Kind of had to take one of those wonderful uh, 11 p.m. phone calls. <laughs> <sighs> so yeah. Oh, okay. I guess we just like save here. I think Sprig is supposed to join you no matter what, because you don't you don't actually get any other characters in here uh, aside from I want to say here. Uh, although I think you also might like get Harl. Uh, let's see. Just a second there. I see you. I give you a place to sleep, and you're living without a word of thanks. <laughs> Your manners. <laughs> I'm coming with you. I have a feeling I can get out of here if I tag along. Besides, you won't be able to make it inside the tower alone. I'll open it for you. Sprig joined your party. Yay.
So I don't actually remember if we... I think I'm gonna go like for like auto allocate to be honest. It's like a lot faster this way. Um, no, wait, what? Wait, Chunli has like level five and six? What? That's so weird. I think she's like green element, so I guess green. I, I don't know why the game thought it would be best to give her like, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, stacks of magnify for whatever reason. But Aero Sorcerer is probably better. So yeah, um, Doppelgang is actually mm, like a very interesting uh, like tech. I never really used it all that much, but as far as I remember, uh, you you get the option of transforming into an enemy that you beat with sprig in your party and i think there's also an item if you don't want to get sprig with you something like a forget me not something something um that uh like if you have it equipped on any character and they kill an enemy that enemy gets added to the to the list of what sprig can uh, sprig can doppelgang into wait hold on like through here. Hmm. So how do we move that rock over there? Also in case you didn't notice that the waterfall is actually flowing upwards in this uh, area. It's kind of funny. Oh, hold on, I see. I think you need to roll the one up there and that will kind of like knock it off. Let's see. It's like pointless back and forth here. Down we go. Come on. I'm not actually sure this is the correct thing. Like, it may just be that you need to block the waterfall. Do you? Oh, there we go. Cool. <laughs> One ton distraction in uh, in 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 a place where the laws of physics may or may not be what you think they are. But hey, we got like a, <laughs> a very useful revive. Uh, oh my god, I was just about to say materia. So that, oh, the materia, different game, different game. <laughs> And yes, one that I may or may not be streaming eventually. I kind of, for starters, have to get through the culture shock that is uh, grinding 10,000 enemies in Final Fantasy VIII. And it's in like also nine as well, I want to say. You are Trele, no? Come on, Monsieur Lynx, let's go. We don't have the time to be dawdling here. We may truly get lost in time. I can't afford to lose you just yet. I'm not Lynx. You are no longer Serge. You are Monsieur Lynx. Ho ho ho. So this is like so effed up, this whole like place. Alons, regard to her. Just look at yourself. Who in the right mind is going to believe you are Serge? C'est simple. <laughs> if, ev if everybody except for yourself says that you are Monsieur Lynx, then hmm, you are Monsieur Lynx. <laughs> voilà, you are Monsieur Lynx. It's as simple as that. <laughs> wow. Making the like the, the, the French accent is also very hard, by the way. <laughs> that is who you are. C'est la real C'est la real C'est la réalité. <laughs> there we go. If you try and go against réalité, réalité will surely crush you. Réalité will kill you. And réalité will continue to go on as if nothing ever happened. From yesterday to today and from today to tomorrow, réalité marches on. Leaving your crushed body behind. Oof. She's very harsh. Ça va? <laughs> Très bien. Et toi? <laughs> Ooh la la! So you still insist that you are Serge, oui?
Regarding your memoir as this surge, you may be able to rewrite it if you use the dragon tear. Wait, is that is that what he did? That's what he did. <gasps> Whoa. In reality, you died ten years ago in the other world. How can you say for sure this is the real you? Yep. Maybe for you it is evi evident, but I wonder if you ever really were Serge. Oh my. Furthermore, what was this Serge? A figure? A shape? A spirit? A soul? <laughs> Where's, wh where was this Serge? <laughs> oh my god, she's like very... Whew. Talkative. Who am I? Who are you? You're not me. I'm not you. I am reality. You are... Lynx. Or something. But dumb though, like all these accents um, are kind of like doing a number on my voice. <laughs> now, open the door to reality only. One mistake and you'll never make it back to the real world. Like this way. So as far as I remember, we need to see where he enters and go like the opposite direction. A clown who speaks English, French, and German. Well, I think she only sp like she's only like supposed to speak with like a like a French accent. I'm just like maybe butchering it. Wait, that's it? Did I mess it up? Hmm. I may have messed it up. Or maybe I'm meant to enter like the, the same one that he is entering. I don't remember. Oh, there we go. It's like Serge. So when we're doing something wrong, there's like a different character walking around. Is he gonna enter this one? Yeah. This way. Yay! How boring! Fine, I understand how you feel. Let's head back to reality. Harley, join your party. <laughs> yep. Wonder what hair elements are like. Wait, is she? Oh, she's also like black element. Okay. Fair enough. I'm just gonna go with like, uh, like auto. Um, a location for now. Oh, still so low. Oh, at least we get like all of the items that Surge had. Let's see. Pendragon sigil. Shift attribute to element attacks received to weapon. Ah, yes. So this, this as far I remember, um, it kind of saves the last. Uh, what's it called? I think it kind of like saves the last element that you used and infuses your weapon with it. But it only works up until like level 4, I think, or like 5. Um, so it, it's usually just better to kind of like have it on a character that you know is going to use a lot of elements. Actually, I don't think Magic Ring is better for Sprig. Uh, what would be the other interesting thing to use? Magic defense? Nah. Dragoon Gauntlet, I don't care about attack power much. 
what springs evade like okay, 13? Okay, I mean 19 is, isn't like a lot better actually. And yeah, unfortunately, I th is it only Surgeon Lynx can use the Pendragon Sigil? Because in that case, I'm, I just like use it there and screw it. And yes, we are actually trying to escape an MC Escher painting, I guess. <laughs> There's like these weird flood enemies, I kind of like want to show them off. <laughs> They're like very, very, very goofy looking. Like, look at the animation on this. Like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> like, come on, camera, close up, please. The camera's not doing a close up, I don't like it. Oh, yeah, look at this. Like, <laughs> oh wow, it's like such a such a very very goofy type of uh, um, character model, I guess. That thing is ten out of ten. Yeah, I just like <laughs> it's just like enjoy uh, making the little noise, like ah. <laughs> I don't know why it's like so amusing to me. Probably like I've got the mental capacity of like a five-year-old or something. <laughs> uh, that's so funny though. Uh, everyone should have something that amuses them this much, even 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 like a very stupid thing. Nithril. Yes, we're getting the the good stuff now. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a while before we actually you know get to. Oh, and Pendragon Sigil C. Okay. It's gonna be a while before we actually do get around to doing anything with it. Yeah, it's like the, the lower level element of that. Actually, I th again think that... Um, I, I don't think it's like only Surge and... Uh, um, links that can use it, but... Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken, I think it's only kind of like fighter type characters, I guess, if that makes any sense. That uh, are allowed to use it. I'm pretty sure Karsh can, and so can Glenn if you get it. Get him. Okay, I'm just like lost here now. What the hell are we doing? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow. I wish I could have a mouth like that. Im imagine how much food you can fit into it. Hmm. Free fall. I haven't actually seen what this one looks like. Oh, okay. <laughs> Meteoric body slam kind of thing. Cool. Oh wow. Are we are we actually gone to that part that like everyone's all about like um DMCAs? Cause I like for those of you that don't know, I'm actually kind of like partnered with Humble Bundle. Like, not like like it means anything. It's like super easy to actually do that for anyone. Um, but like one of the things that like that entails is that I 
I always get like emails when they release new bundles so they can kind of like market them for them, which I don't really do. But damn, like the MCA must have gone very, very um, wide on Twitch because they are actually promoting today the humble big royalty free music bundle. Like, whoa. Get 26 albums and four, over 400 tracks, which include Wave, MP3, and seamless premium licenses for music such as Shadows Guild, Superheroes, Dreamagination, and Slasher. Huh. I... Brr. Like, damn. You know, this might actually be something that I need to look into, because, you know, the whole DMCA thing, it... Like, the... The in intros of them... Uh, Check the stream earlier first message you. Hey, hi Rooks. Yeah, someone was trying to sell me followers again. Uh, I, I don't know like how they thought I needed them. I've got like all of you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, actually, this might be something that I want to look into because like the whole DMC thing. I'm I'm always making sure I'm not using any copyrighted stuff if I can help it. Like aside from like one or two like silly stuff that I did that I immediately made sure to delete the VODs to. Um, mainly I use uh, OC, rem like OC Overclock Remix remixes of whatever game I'm playing at the moment for the intro. And uh, Miracle of Sounds, uh, music for uh, intros to which I can't find anything else. Because uh, Miracle of Sound Gavin Dunn, if you don't know him, he does a lot of original music that's inspired by games. You should check him out, actually. I mean, I would love to be doing like a shout out to bigger audiences, if I'm being honest, because he's like a great guy also. Um, and like one of the, the cool things is that like all of his music, like it's allowed on like stream, so long as you kind of attribute it, which I always do at the intro. But yeah, like maybe I should like check this bundle just in case I, I need like a couple more like music and audio and stuff for, you know, not being DMCA'd. <laughs> we are back to reality. Does this place look familiar to you, Monsieur Lynx? Do you need moi to tell you where we are? No, I already know. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> ah, you remember? Then let's leave this forest marshes at once. Ah, yes, I'm finally back to the real world. Wait, is she gonna leave now? Ah, a world with substance. Even water and air is different. This is great! She's sticking around, right? She's not leaving. Oh. Also, yeah, how are we doing, Rooks? It's time to party! <laughs> Let's have a toast to our return to the real world. Listen, old lady, you are not getting any younger. Try to control your emotions. And there is absolument no time to be partying. We must hurry along. What's your problem, lass? It's been years since I've been back to the real world. You sure are a buzzkill. So anyway, where to now? I was doing some DBD? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, Monsieur Lynx, you seem worried about the safe character. Do you still remember the place where it all started? Where angels lose their way. Where angels? Whatever. It has a bad ring to it. So what exactly is it? It's like the beach at Opasa. A key to another world, something like that. Actually, um, I've, I've kind of like been bouncing this around a bit. And um, I, I, I do want at some point to just kind of like play something that's not like a retro RPG, like retro RPG or like retro inspired game. So I was kind of thinking after Chrono Cross is done and after uh, Momodora is done that uh, Jungle Roba kind of requested, maybe we could try like a week's worth of Dead, Dead by Daylight streams. It, it does seem like, uh, like a very interesting kind of game to stream. Although, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to suck at it and I'm probably going to get like people in chat like tell me that I suck at it. So, yeah. That's part of why I avoid online games to begin with, even on stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah, maybe I I will have a look at that after all of this is done. 
Uh, but that's kind of like quite a ways away. It's probably going to be at around Christmas if um, any judge. Because this is definitely going to take another like two weeks worth of streams. And then I guess another week for Momodora. So, uh, you know. What? Are you saying there's another dimensional distortion in this world? Yep, I know. That's why I'm uh, kind of like saying I'm bouncing around the idea. I'm not committed to it like at all. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting indeed. So where is this place? Leave that up to Monsieur Lynx. Let's just get going. But first, we must leave this forest. Yeah, I know. What the? Disappeared? What's going on? Um, we actually explored this world's version of uh, like Hydra Marshes, right? Should have enough stuff to show you from stuff you learned from other prayers. I mean, yeah, I, I'm I'm not interested in like being Tudor, I guess. If uh, sorry, uh, like that sounds a bit hostile, but I I just like prefer to kind of like figure things out on my own. And if I don't, then I'm, I I won't you know um, mind too much. <laughs> also, can I just say that the, the overworld theme for Homeworld is so much better than the one for. Uh, Another. So yeah, this should still be blocked, right? By the poor military. Yeah. Okay. So I think the story here is to just try and go to... Uh, Opasa Beach, and I think we're trying to use the amulet and it doesn't work anymore. Yep. It's broken. What's wrong, Lynx? Don't tell me the dimensional gate won't open. <laughs> You've been hot water now. Of course it won't open. The missing piece to this world has been found. There is nothing we can do. You are just you are now just an unwanted piece. Whoa. Very interesting. What are you going to do now, Lynx? How about we go explain your situation to your mother? <laughs> your mother? Wow. They're like... I swear, like, the game is actually trying to do, like, a Cockney accent kind of thing. But... <laughs> so weird. I just like this song so much. And I've, I've actually been talking a bit about this in previous streams. You, you can kind of hear like most of the soundtrack is using variations on the same lead motif, which is kind of the same melody uh, as a basis to like the entire song, which isn't like a bad thing, but I, I think they actually have like two of them, it's like one for home and one for another. <gasps> Demi humans? What do you monsters want from us? Excusez-moi, Giza, what kind of attitude is that? I will kick your terrier to the moon if you talk to Mon Lynx comme ça. <laughs> did, did, did that sound familiar, by the way? Because there's another plot twist with Harl. Freak! Like, like everyone hates us now. Who, who or what are you? What do you want? Uh, what? No way. You're Sergi? You. Give me a break. Our Sergi is human. Read my lips. H U M A N. <laughs> He's not a demi human like you. You're full of it. Well, what shall you do, Monsieur Lynx? Nobody in your village believes that you are Serge. Of course we don't believe you. Everyone in this village knows Sergi. We're not gonna be fooled by a bunch of demi humans like you. I don't know what you jokers are up to, but just get the hell out of our village. Yes. So, in, on top of everything else, there's also, like, um, racism in this universe. Because, of course, there is. <laughs> Who might you be? May I help you? What? What did you just say? Your Surge? <gasps> Please explain to me exactly what is going on here. 
Actually, I think you can also recruit Marge at some point, which is ridiculous. Um, as far as I remember, she's supposed to fight with like a ladle or something like that. I see. So that man told you to go to the Sea of Eden. I really don't know about dimensional distortions or about the other world, but if, like you say, something big is really on the verge of happening, it may all have started 14 years ago, on the night of the storm. Where Serge drowned. I mean... Yeah. That night, your father, Wazuki, and his friend Miguel set out to sea despite the storm. It was an emergency. So it's like kind of like always like weirded me out. Well, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, obviously. Um, it's like kind of like always like what weirded me out because Serge is kind of like a European sounding name. Uh, Marge is kind of like also European or American kind of name. Miguel, it's kind of like a Spanish name, I guess. So why did they choose Wazuki for the name of his father? Like, I guess like Sergeon Marge are kind of like supposed to sound similar. That's why they chose them. <laughs> I, 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 it, it just like feels out of place. It's not like I, I mind, but it just like feels out of place to, you know, it, it's, it's like the... Um, Gotta go now. Ah, oh, thank you for sticking around, Menino Mundi, and uh, have a very pleasant evening or like afternoon, I guess, in your case. Um, it's like it's just like if I were to play a fantasy game where you had like Hrothgar and Drizzt and like uh, other like high fantasy names, and then you had like a character called Bob <laughs> in the middle of it all, that would totally kind of like pull me out of the experience. They were swallowed by the high waves and lost consciousness. When they came to, they found themselves inside the Dead Sea. A place where no living creature dares enter, because it's dead. I don't know what he saw or what happened, but that incident changed your father. And your father friends Miguel, that was Lina's father, he never returned. Bob, son of Bjorn, yes, kind of something like that. Back then, that place wasn't called the Dead Sea. Yes, I believe they called it the Sea of Eden. That was 14 years ago. Are you the ones everyone is talking about? Yep. Hello, Radius. No, this can't be. Are you Lynx? You're still alive. Step outside, Lynx. For I too was once a valiant member of the Acacia Dragoons. I must put a stop to you. I mean, um, la la la. Giza, I wouldn't show off like that. That is, if you want to live. Do not underestimate the power of Monsieur Lynx. One blow, and it's off to the other world with you. <laughs> Silence! Now step outside. Ow, my back. <laughs> Just like, wait until we step outside before you aggro me. What? <laughs> oh, okay. We're like magically teleported to the outside now. Cool. On guard! I mean, uh, uh, them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I love that joke. It's like the, the, the other guy like goes on guard and you go okay we we. It's like <laughs> why why are we talking like that? Feral cats. Ooh yeah, invokes a pack of magic cats to attack. I love the the look of this attack. Like check it out. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Meow. <laughs> it looks so stupid. It's like basically killing your enemy with cut missiles. <laughs> you know, I kind of realized I should probably have stopped at Lizard Rock for a bit to kill a couple of enemies with Sprig in the party. So she can at least, you know, do stuff with her uh, um, doppelganger uh, tech. Moonshine. Use Lunar Energy to protect your party. This, as far as I remember, was like very powerful. And also like the look of it, to be honest. I think it gives us like barrier or something like that. Magic defense. Long shot. Whoa. <laughs> Nyan cut. Yeah, yeah, except that like instead of like the cute 
uh, like uh, song thingy, you you actually get like freaking like cut missiles or something. So he's like green. I don't have any decent yellow ones. But like capsule that could heal him to death. <laughs> He'd be like, oh no! <laughs> I'm being healed! It burns! It burns! <laughs> no, it doesn't. Or I could just like be doing like 200 something damage with uh, like throwing him into the stratosphere. Oh, he can manipulate elements. And he totally hit the only character that would not be getting super effective at that, like damage from that. Well done him. He's truly a tactical mastermind. <laughs> He does have a lot of dodge though, which is, you know, interesting, generally. Um, I think he's probably gonna be at like 20 something percent, because he, he totally joins us after this. Um, but yeah, I, I think he's got like a very decent amount of dodge overall. I stand defeated! Now, where are my glasses? I need to use the restroom. <laughs> it's like the typical anime grandpa. Links and friends reach a new level. Got like a tier one. Oh, got like a yeah tier one uh, element slot. And Links got like 320 HP here. That's insane. Sprig didn't get anything. What the hell is up with Sprig and her uh, like element grid? So weird. Hmm, I do not sense any malice in your attacks, because I can totally do that. Do you really mean to tell me that you are not Lynx? And it is true that the General is still active in the other world. I mean, until the actual Lynx killed him. Here, the General has been missing for the past three years now. Understood, I shall accompany you. We may still have the chance to save the General and Riddell in the other world. Zoot! This geezer is only going to get in the way! Yep. Radius, join your party! Actually, as far as I remember, he's like fairly strong as a melee character. And... Uh, I, I really don't want to have like two black element characters in the party at the same time. Uh, even though her red moon attack is attack buff is kind of powerful um, the game does have like a very bad habit at this point to put you against a lot of wide element enemies and it's kind of problematic first we must head to Termina and gather news about General Viper's disappearance from this world don't worry we will find a clue to return to the other world yeah also it burns there are people out there who won't judge you by your appearance. Just pee your hair up and do your best. Understand, Serge? Okay, mom. Like a like two meter tall cat person. Yes, mom. Okay, mom. Fine, mom. <laughs> I'll go clean my room now, mom. <laughs> oh, wow. That kind of like amused me more than it should. Uh, so let's see who's next. Uh, okay, we, we are going to try and go kill some enemies in uh, uh, Lizard Rock. Because I do want to start like gathering enemies for uh, Sprig. I mean, not that they're the freaking whatever these lizards are called, I forget, like Komodo something. Uh, not that they actually do much of anything but you know also radius only starts with like a level three and five slot like literally only his actual uh, text and nothing else yay 
I did not remember that. Sprig HP, radius HP. So yeah. Oh! No, it, it's just that I forgot to allocate stuff to him. <laughs> Whoops. So if I did that correctly, which I'm not sure I did, now we should be able to use Doppelgang to transform into a Komodo pup. So let's see. Oh, you know, it's like a new down there with like whatever the bitch bomb is called. Was it like a bitch bomb, right? Ba -da -ba -bum. Yep, two of them. Actually, have to defend. Okay, let's see. One, two. Oh, do you think that maybe you can stay alive for long enough for me to try this? Thank you very much. Four. Okay, five. Okay, let's see. Top hell gang, transform yourself. Yep. Oh. Ah, that's actually a a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, is this why she doesn't have any elements? It's because she, she gets them all from whatever she transforms into. Mm, okay. That, however, seems like kind of a pain to keep track of. Like, which, the, which are the good transformations to be transforming into? It's also probably a pain for completionists to try and like get all of the transformations in one file. Because uh, the game does this thing with like a new game plus where you can kind of, you know, um, import everyone that, that has joined you into a new save. Which is fine, I guess, but uh, it, it's not a very short game. I don't want to be playing a new game plus of like a 40 hour game and having to go through the exact same 40 hours over and over again. Because it, it's it's not like you can kind of power through this game the same way you can like Chrono Trigger. Uh, because there you could more or less kind of like skip all of the attacks, all of the enemies. In this one there's like a lot more cutscenes and dialogues and stuff like that and yeah yo check out that guy's face way scary our investigation is done let's get the hell out of here i want to go back to poor <laughs> okay so yeah that big bird the dodo is now actually one of the more dangerous enemies we can fight in this part of the game Mainly because its element is white, and that didn't really matter with Surge, but with Lynx, who's black, well, ugh, he takes double damage from white element attacks. Yep, see? I mean, theoretically, we can also kill it before it, you know, has the time to do anything to us, but these things have a lot of health, which has always been the, the problem, to be honest, with fighting them. See, I, I, I literally just did like 500 damage to it total and it's still alive. Oh my god, just like hit something. 12 damage, well done. Woohoo. Oh, also I forgot to give this guy accessories. Yeah, that was uh, bad of me. Peck. Well, I think maybe, like, Lynx is dead here? No. 
I got like 300 health, but it's gonna yeah do like a hundred damage per <laughs> per cast. Woohoo! Okay, we got we can quick draw. Swing your stuff faster than the eye can see. And the other one's like long shot. Yeah, hit fall from afar with chi aura. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Kind of want to see like what quick draw looks like. <laughs> Thirty nine damage. All that posing and all that like pomp and fanfare, and you only do like forty damage overall. Time well spent. Again, I probably should have given him more accessories. Like, at least Dragoon uh, Gauntlets are gonna boost his damage a lot. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any equip by default, like none of them usually do. At least he's kind of like maxed out in stats. That's kind of useful. Yep. Ah, oh boy. Okay. Power glove. And what's the other one? Dragoon gauntlet. Ah, he's kind of... What was it? 37 attack? I mean, Lynx is at 46 and Harley's at... Eh. Yeah, it's not like that good. Because like 38 attack. Wait, does it only give me like plus one attack? We can like stack these instead. And go with like hit. Oh, sorry. Bump, bump, bump that. Got like a silver loop for uh, hit rating. So yeah, eventually it's like a another by the way. There's like a lot of by the ways in this game because of like the, the way it's structured. Um... Eventually, we also need to come to this place to bring Draghi, which is like the, the the dragon that will eventually join our party when we get access to the fourth Dragonia of this uh, universe. So we, as far as I remember, we kind of need to bring it to this head here. This is where we got Ska Skelly in the other... Uh, another... Hey! Links received the infrared vision frame, which kind of looks like a virtual boy. Which I, I guess is kind of like the joke. <laughs> um, but yeah, we eventually have to bring Draghi here to get his level 7 tech. But to do that, first we need to hatch his... Oh, shit. Mithril. Uh, don't, 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 don't aggro. Don't aggro, come on, let me... Oh, safe. Um, fir first, we need to be able to access for Dragonia and uh, solve the, the... I think it's kind of like the same puzzles, actually, that we did in the another version. Um, and once that's done, we get access to the incubator room, like at the bottom of the... Uh, of the of like the elevator after the first four puzzles and you can actually hatch that egg that we got at the very very start of the game like the first time we went through fossil valley and a, a, a teeny tiny dragon uh, party member comes out of it called draggy and you can totally bring draggy to like home version of Fossil Valley to that skull and that's apparently his mom or something like that right if I'm like remembering correctly and that's actually what unlocks his level 7 tech because um, like the thing about this game is like most characters like not all of them but most characters have a level 7 tech like uh for example, Radius has like a level 3 and level 5 that he learns by leveling, right? Like everyone has like a level 3 and level 5 that they have by leveling, like Lynx's is Glide Hook and the Feral Cuts thing. And eventually at 
level 7 you can kind of uh, discover, I guess, for most, like, for a lot of the characters, you can actually discover a a hidden tech. Oh, damn. I remember this bit. We're going to have to play with the butterflies to get the, the little weirdos around in this version. But yeah, you, you kind of like get like a level 7 tech at some point. Um, you don't actually unlock those by leveling. You, you just need to meet specific requirements for each of the characters. So in, in, in Draghi's case, he kind of needs to be brought to the skull of his mom. <laughs> uh, and then he learns like a big dragon, I think it's called, which is kind of like, like a bigger shadow of a dragon coming like through the screen and burning and everything. Uh, yeah, quite powerful, actually. Um, if uh, anyone remembers when we got... Uh, what's your name? Um, Razli? Yeah. Her, her level 7 is actually one of the more complicated ones to get in the game. Because to, to, to actually get it, you need to not have, your, not have her in the party when you save here from uh, home version of uh, Hydra Marshes, you need to save here but not take her in your party so she's not actually present when you kill the Hydra. And then you also need to not take her to the Water Gods Island or like Water Dragon Island, I guess. Uh, when you... when you are trying to, to get like the Ice Breath to be able to cross through for Dragonia, uh, Mount Pyre, which is connected to Fort Dragonia. And you also need to delay long enough that her uh, sister, I guess, like whatever her name was, I don't really remember. Uh, but you actually need to delay long enough fighting the dwarves so that like the, the other fairy kind of dies. Um, cause as, as far as I remember, I, I, I never actually did this myself. Like we did this in this stream. I've never actually done it like casually. Uh, but I remember reading from an FAQ that if you don't do things in this order, she never gets exiled from, well, not exiled, kind of like she never leaves, uh, Dragon, uh, Water Dragon Island. So when y you can't actually like see the return event eventually that gives her the level 7 uh, uh, tech. And yeah, that's actually one of the more complicated ones to get. There's a lot actually. Uh, um, and it, it's never actually clear. Mithril, yes. Give me more Mithril, please. It's never actually very clear how, you know, it, it all, you know, connects together. Because you are never told if you screw things up that, you know, oh, if you only did things differently, so and so might have happened. So you, you, you are never, like, clued in into what the action you should have taken was or wasn't. Um, which, I mean, is not, like, that bad. Because, like, a lot of characters... Uh, like finding a few of these. Don't even dare. Who's this guy? Hey, you guys want to join me for some hot stew? It'll cost you, though. Oh, I'll give you that treasure if you're able to find one that will impress me. Wait, what? Uh, bring me a mushroom. What? Mu oh, is uh, maybe this is what we get for like solving the like the, the spore riddle, I guess, of this. Uh of this universe. No. Yeah, because you don't actually get spores on like this uh, version of it. However, I am going to check all of the things just in case i don't suppose i have any mushrooms right nope 
yet. Who knows? Maybe I, I get one later. Carnivore. Oh wait, it's like a, it's like an element called carnivore. What? It was like actually a green one. Wow. I never knew about that one. Oh, damn it. Pass it, he saw a great item and went inside this cave, but then a big huge rock fell down and now pass trapped. Papa! Don't budge. Whoops, did we do this? But it's never actually kind of like stated, I guess, that whatever you do in another kind of reflects on this. Come on. Keep going. There we go. You know what actually annoys me the most is that for a while now we don't have access to Pilfer. Um, since, you know, we only kid knows it so far. I think ev eventually we get Fargo as well who has like the, the blue element version of that. Um, as far as I remember, there's two characters that can Pilfer in this game. Uh, but yeah, it kind of annoys me because we are missing out on a lot of freebies here. Ooh, Cure Plus. Nice. I actually didn't have any of those before. Wait, oh, no! Yeah, screw that. I'm running. i kind of like tired of fighting blobs. Run away. Bye. So like the annoying thing is that even if you run away, the enemies aren't gone once you're back in the um, in the uh, exploration mob, I guess. This area is under poor military control. No admittance until the investigation is over. Combat. <laughs> no, just let me run away. Come on. Ugh. It's so cool though, like, <laughs> stupid but cool, it does a lot of damage. It's always nice if you get the chance in JRPGs to end a fight before the enemy can take a turn. That's 
probably when you know you're slightly over leveled, but doesn't really matter because it's fun. So the the reason that I'm here is there's a character that you can get. But there's something that you need to do here. Actually, remember what it was though. I think you have to kind of like interact with something around here. I think maybe it's like maybe here. No. God. Could we not maybe Do I have to fight the stupid overgrown grasshoppers now? Killed some bugs. Woohoo. And we amazing. <laughs> oh, come on. I, I, I kind of wish the game had a. I, I guess you'd call it a. Like, grace period, I guess. Kind of like a small window after uh, going into a fight with something that you can't be aggroed by another enemy because a lot of times it, it it just so happens that there's two or more enemies in the same location and they're kind of moving around all the time so you go into one fight you beat the enemies and then the moment you go out of it because there, there, there has to be that uh fade to black transition by the time that plays through the other enemy has started moving already and they're already on top of you and you go back into a fight. Uh, that's not too fun. Just like chaining combat without like meaning to. Wait, what? Oh, okay, there we go. What? Ah, what? What the? Wow, I made it out. Whew. I made it inside okay, but I couldn't find the exit. Thanks for your help. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. I found it inside this cave. Oh, mushroom. Cool, the other guy needed a mushroom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go, like, give the guy a mushroom. And hopefully not get chained into, like, five fights in, on the way out. <laughs> That's kind of annoying. No, combat. Fast like the wind. Whoosh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Almost immediately ran into that one. <laughs> uh, God. 
Okay, let's see. I have a mushroom for you. Wait, where? Oh. Have to talk to him. Hey, let me see that mushroom. Whoa. This is a rare mushroom found only in Guardia. Or so it seems. Guardia, another like name drop here. Anyway, what do you say we made a deal? Your mushroom for my treasure? Okay. This better be good. Oh, this rich fragrance. Om nom nom nom. <laughs> Mmm, the way it melts in your mouth and yet how the firm texture brings out the flavor. So this is gonna be a fun thing, I just remembered. The... D delicious! Uh. What the hell? Delicious! Man, that was good! <laughs> what? Do, do I have something on my face? Uh... Well... Huh? What the? Ah, 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 chew! Huh? What the? <laughs> no! A mushroom monster! <laughs> How could you do this to me? It's all your fault! Sorry. I know. Why don't you join us? The frozen flame should be able to change you back to normal. Fine, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll stalk you through the depths of hell. <laughs> Chew. <laughs> fun guy, <laughs> fun guy, yeah, fun guy joined your party. <laughs> oh wow, such a weird character. Is he just like also green? Oh, he's wait, he's actually yellow. Oh, okay. So, accuracy is not much to talk about. It's like slightly better agility. Um. Lower resist, higher strength, though. Mm. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Maybe we could, like, give this guy a try. Haven't had a good yellow character in the party for, like, ages. Well, I haven't actually had a good yellow character yet. Because, like, the first one was Pojul. And after that, it was, like, <laughs> all the way out. <laughs> mm, let's see, silver loop for the hit. Um... Uh, silver pen. That's a good defensive on this guy. Link's found forest charm. Oh, that's like actually the last charm that we need, right? Like all of the other ones, we've got like the angel and demon charms for like white and black. We got the forest one for green now. We had the earth one for yellow. We had the fire and like water ones, I want to say. Like I'm pretty sure we have like all six charms now. Let's see. Anti-red, anti-yellow... Anti-white, anti-green. Uh, I know I have the demonic one. Oh, yeah, it's on uh, Harl. Like, the, the black one. I also want to say I, I equip, like, the, the, the blue one on someone, but I'm not, like, 100% sure about that. Maybe we just didn't find the blue one yet. Hmm. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, now that we're done with this uh, fun little diversion, Doing. Uh, let's go to Termina. Well, actually, hmm, Termina? Or should I first go to uh, Viperman? No, Termina first. Viperman or later. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Also, you can kind of like see a ship being docked here, which is only in this version. Um, we'll find out soon why. Uh oh. <gasps> Links, how dare you have the nerve to return to this town? Wait, what the? Get out of here. I mean, it looks like you're an unwanted guest here too. Humans are very selfish, no? To think that they used to bow their head down to carry favor with Monsieur Links. They're always searching for something on someone to laser blame on. Hi. I'm on patrol duty, don't bother me. Okay, sure. I just like want to look around. Don't mind me, I'm just naturally nosy. <laughs> 
However, um, it's like a bit past midnight already, so I think I'm going to call it for today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow to st finally, maybe, possibly start the search for the divine dragons and so on and so forth and maybe like recruit a bunch more characters uh but yeah in the meantime not a lot of people actually or like not any people <laughs> uh in chat at the moment so um have a very very pleasant evening and i will see you around tomorrow with more of this hopefully um it's not been like a particularly pleasant week at work either uh, and it's only gonna get worse as we get closer to the end of the year, so I'm gonna try and stream. I I definitely don't want to promise. I know we are on a schedule already, but you know uh, un Unless anyone would want to see me stream while being like this For like three hours <laughs> and not speak unless spoken to <laughs> But yeah, have a very pleasant evening and I will see you around tomorrow. Good night <laughs>